Sagittarius, hello, welcome to your reading. This is your 1 till 13 September reading for 2020. Now, for those of you that follow my channel, you will know there's already a 1 till 13 September 2020 reading. It's not a mistake. It is um, sort of an addition to that one. So that one, that 1 till 13 September reading was looking sort of at your life, uh, at your overall life, your life. This 1 till 13 September reading is looking at what are they thinking? Where are their minds coming from? You know, what is what is kind of going on on their side of the fence? Um, this is obviously following up on the weekend reading that I uploaded for you, which was Do This to Love Me. Um, the situation doesn't necessarily have to do with love. It doesn't have to be love. It doesn't have to be romance. It could be though for some of you. Um, take from the reading what resonates with you. Um, and then also there's a September 2020 reading. So it's all sort of slotting together. You know, it's all sort of part of one another. And then for today's reading, I'm going to do something that I actually haven't done before. I'm going to do something absolutely new in addition to what I normally do. So I'm going to draw for you. Um, first of all, as I said, you know, what are they thinking? Where are their minds? This could be a lover. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be somebody that you might consider actually, you know, reconnecting with. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to clarify. There's an answer that brought, there was a question that brought you to this reading. We're going to answer that with an angel answer, with an angel card for you. And then we're also going to look at all the different signs. Um, from Aries all the way down to Pisces for the energy that you're dealing with, how that might be affecting you, you know, what the connection is there at the moment. So that happens at the end. So if you watch all the way through down to the end, you get to have that at the end as well. Um, you know, instead of doing yourself, um, you know, instead of having to go cross-watching and maybe getting the wrong message from cross-watching. So this Sagittarius is obviously for Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for Sagittarius. It could also be for your Mercury because it's about what they are thinking. It's about communication. And if it's about romance or just maybe a situation of the heart, which it normally is, you can also look at your Venus. Okay, so let's draw your card. Let's get started. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it if you would do that. Um, if you would consider doing that. Um... For those of you that come to my channel every week, I'd like to thank you very much for that. Um, thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments, thank you for your um, subscriptions, you know, uh, and your sharing. And if it's your first time to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Adrian. I'm into with the Vila. I practice holistic wellness and I also do spiritual regression hypnosis. If you're interested in that, you're more than welcome to go have a look at the link down below that takes you directly to my profile okay let's see what we have for Sagittarius for 1 till 13 September mm -mm. Dun, 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 dun. music is the key to fall in love music is the answer to our hearts music is the power to survive when I feel down even if I'm wasting all my time I try to get your breeze out of my mind But something takes me back into my heart, into my soul The Fool Boom What an overall energy to start with This is no small play going on here, Sagittarius We are dealing with serious, serious business what are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Now, let's not jump to any conclusions. We're going to look at what we currently have, what brought us to where we are, where this connection is going forward. We're just looking at what are they thinking at the moment. You might be dealing with a very emotional sign, which is why we're having the, you know, the, the look at all the different zodiacs at the end of your reading. If you want to stick around for that. But at the moment, they are thinking, you know... They may not be thinking about you that much, <laughs> but let's see what's going on there. It doesn't mean that that is how they're going, it's going to stay. Maybe the situation is necessary. So before I look at, at the other cards that you have and before I show them to you, let's first clarify this overall energy of the reading before we get into the details. Okay, so we're going to look at the overall because it's sometimes good to understand the full situation and then to obviously got the details so that we don't miss anything. Okay. Um, those are too many cards that are falling out there. And I'm working on something going forward. The channel is growing and I'm so grateful for your support um, that you would be able to see the cards that I draw. It's going to be so exciting, don't you think? Right, let's, and let's see. So for the full, for the overall energy, you've got the Eight of Emotions. Um, 
They may be dealing with some dark stuff of their own. It's almost like you are there in the back of their mind. Um, and I feel that the energy that you are dealing with, um, Sagittarius, it might not be that they necessarily want to move on without. You see why clarification is so important. It's not necessarily that they want to move on without you. It's this, uh, I don't know, it's, it's almost like they're seeing... It's almost like you up there and somehow they feel like they're down here. They, they, they're not actually sure if you if you actually think about them. So if you do, um, you might want to find a way to let them know because um, they may misinterpret that you don't actually care. So whilst you might actually be giving them space, they may actually think that you don't care. Okay. Um, could be dealing with a water sign here, um, two of emotions there. Um, Cancer, Scorpio could also be a Pisces, um, or maybe an earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But um, could be dealing with a water sign there, or somebody that's just got very strong, you know, especially Pisces in their chart. Um, They want to bring things back from the sort of space. They want to remember I was speaking about, you know, them perceiving you to be here and, and them being here. They sort of want to have this, that in the middle and they want to sort of blend things up and mix things up. So it's, I think this is one of those cases where we're going to look at the rest of your reading now. But this is one of those cases where somebody really wants to have something powerful and really wants to have something magical. But they've got no freaking clue how, you know. They've got no clue how. They've got, got no idea how to do it. Let's see. So in the recent past, we've got the Knight of Swords and we've got the Hero of Him. And then we've got the Six of Pentacles. Something happened there. They may have reached out to you. They may have made a step forward. You could have said something. They could have said something. But for some reason, they got it in their mind that they have to build a clean slate without you. Um, so it's almost like they really wanted to be with you. They really wanted to be within your space. They really wanted to be within your vicinity. This is obviously a general reading. So you take what resonates for you within the reading. Um, or from all the seven and a half billion people plus in the world, if you want to focus on your energy specifically, you can order yourself a personal reading. They're still $18. Okay. Um, which is actually keeping me quite busy. <laughs> um... Yeah, so now they're actually looking at rather maybe being with you. So whereas before, you know, there was a stage they were go, 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 go. And then there was a stage of no. And now they're sort of looking at how they can build things with you. So with the current situation, you've got the moon, you've got the nine of cups and you've got the four of swords. So you may have given them some reasons why things can't work and... They didn't take very kindly to that. They didn't take very kindly to that at all. But it's almost like they may realize now that you may have been right. And it's that acceptance of you may have been right, which may actually make them reach out to you first. Okay. But this is a warrior that you have to do. And when I say warrior, I'm not talking about a warrior. I'm talking about a warrior. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, person that you're dealing with here. There's the moon as well. And cups again. So this could be a this could this could be some water sign. Alright. Um nine of swords going forward, six of wands, and the page of pentacles. So they're very open to a new start going forward. And I, I feel that they they see you in this bright light, but um they they're tripping. <laughs> they're tripping. <laughs> let's just call it what it is. They're tripping. All right, so let's look at um, Sagittarius. Let's look at that um, Knight of Swords there in the past. They're going forward energy. Because they were going, they were going, they were going. And I feel that they might have thought that they're going in the direction that you would choose to go in as well. And maybe there were some discrepancies. Maybe you had an alternative plan in mind. Yep, 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 yep. So clarifying this Knight of Swords here is the Two of Voices, which is Swords, and the Two of Materials, which is Pentacles. So I feel that not only them, but you as well. You sort of, you there's, there's a point where you guys got stuck and you wanted to move past this point of being stuck. But uh, your communication uh, is of such a nature that 
it's not that anybody's right or wrong, but it's um, it's it's of a, almost sort of a fluctuating nature in the sense that you know this is something amazing that I often have in NLP life coaching that a lot of times when people have a, a argument or, or just a misunderstanding, which is really what an argument is. Um, you could be talking about exactly the same thing. Generally, you are. You want the same thing, but you are you are explaining it in different ways, and you're understanding what the other person is saying in different ways. And um, I feel this time away, um, you know, you kind of took some time to become clear about what it is that you want, and you worked on those communication glitches, and there were the muse of materials, which is the king of um, pentacles. Hmm. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's look at this good stuff, the Hierophant. So with the Hierophant, let's clarify the Hierophant. Hmm. Queen of Inspirations and the Hanged Muse. For some reason, and I, it's, I don't think that the person that you're dealing with, that the person that you're thinking about, they don't quite get how serious you might be about them, especially if this is a romantic situation. And I said it could also be family, it could also be friends, but you're very serious about them, but they don't actually get that. And you may feel that it might be better to give the situation some time. According to the cards, they were the high priestess. It might be better if you actually speak up, <laughs> you know, if you say something. Six of Pentacles for the situation going forward. It's almost like there's a fear of being rejected by, of being rejected by you, you know, and that's what's holding them back. But they're also getting past that sense of rejection. Now, here's the thing. Uh, what I'm feeling is as they're getting past that sense of being scared of being rejected by you, instead of moving to you, they move might move on to somebody else. Okay, because they might stop giving so much attention to the situation. Then just assume oh, it's never gonna work out. Nine of emotions and eight of inspirations. They may actually move away. Okay? What, what they couldn't find with you, they might go look, be open to finding with someone else. I really feel you might be dealing with a water sign here, the Knight of Emotions, or somebody with strong water in the chart. Could be an earth sign. Um, if it's an air sign, for example, it will be like an Aquarius, you know. Right, let's see what's going on here. Current situation, the moon. Oi, 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 four of voices, six of inspirations, and the devil. You don't want to be the first one to step forward. You want to be there. They must see how okay you are. They must see how happy you are. They must see how right you are. They must see how you are working on your own issues, um, how you are building yourself strong, building an empire, how okay you are without them. They are misinterpreting that as you don't care. That's what they say. Okay. The Nine of Cups. They're gonna move away. They're gonna move away. They're gonna move on. Okay. Because this person that you're dealing with could be more than one, but for most of you, you're dealing with one person. This person that you're dealing with is emotionally ready um, and they're not looking, this is not a needy need, okay? This is a one sort of need. This is a person who understands their energy, who understands their strength, and if they're not going to get what they want from you, they're going to get it from somebody else. I'm telling you, not a word of a lie. Okay? Night of voices. There we go again. Swords. 
They're going to move on. They're going to move on. Remember, we started with the Knight of Swords in the recent past as well. So, um, they're very much in the process of moving on, you know. They might have started moving on from a point of sort of pain or hurt or frustration. Now they're moving on a point from whatever, you know. I'm out of here. Four of Swords in the current situation. You've got the um, the Two of Inspiration. Yeah, they're looking. They, they're looking in a different direction. They're looking over there. <laughs> okay, um, because they they are ready for this emotional balance. They are ready for this emotional stability. They are ready for this emotional strength. Um, and with the Moon over there again, a Cancerian card. Um, <clears throat> Could also be a Virgo, you know, possibly Tau Taurus, but I doubt it. Um, but they're ready to move on. They're ready to move on with somebody that, in their mind, will accept them with their flaws. Okay. Um, I feel that some, some of, now obviously this is, doesn't necessarily mean that it's the truth from your side. But remember, the truth can be true from both, from different sides. It depends on how you look at it, because it's an emotional thing. Um, and if they feel that they can't be themselves with you, they can't be that almost sort of maybe vulnerable, trippy, crazy, you know, honest, true person that we all are, they're going to find someone else they can be that with. Where is the situation going forward? The Nine of Swords, having trouble sleeping, thinking about you, Ace of Voices, Seven of Materials, building a new foundation, thinking it's not going to work out with a fool, they are stepping up way. If you want this person in your life, you're going to have to make a move because I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm going to put it to you in very simple, modern day English. They are moving on. And once they're gone, they're not going to come back. Um, that card, what is that card that doesn't want to be looked at? Six of Wands or the Knight of Materials. They are moving on. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry with the Seven of Swords. And even though they're moving on, interestingly enough, they don't necessarily want to, but their mind also says to them they can't wait forever. Okay. They may be moving on from a healthy point, they may be moving on from fear, they're moving on from frustration, they may be moving on from whatever. The bottom line is they're moving on and once they're gone, they're not gonna come back. The Knight of Pentacles, um, for the Knight of Pentacles, clarify, we've got the Star, we've got the Fire for Voices. Um, Yeah, very much moved on here, in fact. Very much moved on, and the more they're moving on, the more they're looking at somebody different, the more they sort of getting in their mind that, you know, it's, it's almost like, you know, when somebody says to you, I realize now that he or she was never, like, the best option for me in any case, and if it wasn't for the way that they hurt me, that I wouldn't have seen the potential in this situation, that is where they are at, okay? And we all know how that story ends if you don't sort of jump in fast and take control of what it is that you want to have. Now, from the Angel Answers cards, ask a question that brought you to this reading. And let's see what we got for you. Oh. Meditation brings answers. So it's time to slow down. Some of you are running, 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 rushing, 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 going, 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 like bowing, bowing, bowing. It's time to take things a little bit easier. All right. Now, Sagittarius, here is the extra that I offered you. Let's just get all this together. So, from Aries all the way down to Pisces, let's see if you're dealing with that energy, what the cards are saying about the possible outcome of that connection. If you're interested in having beautiful graphic design work done, social media management, you can contact my friend directly. Um, there's a link in the description that says AC Digital Marketing Solutions. She does all my wonderful work, including my newsletter, which you get about say every four to six weeks. And there's a link for that as well. You can sign up for that if you'd like to do that. Um, if you're interested in spiritual regression hypnosis, there's a link for that down below. You can order a personal reading from me. There's too many cards over here. It's still $18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three
So let's see if you're dealing with a Libra, what we got. Oh, the Libra card went right there. Let's look at Scorpio. Doing the whole Zodiac wheel. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you're more than welcome to do so while I'm shuffling. Remember to hit that all button next to subscribe so when your reading comes out and your bonus readings come out, that you know about it. And of course, if there's other notifications, you can either look at them or you can ignore them. Or you can, you know, say to your friend, hey, Aquarius, your reading is out. <laughs> One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, let's see what we have. If Sagittarius is dealing with a Sagittarius, what do we have? Two Sagittarius was obviously makes such an incredible match because you understand each other's crazy. <laughs> love Sagittarius. I love them. They don't tie you down and they're always there. And one more card. Every now and then you have to be like, come back here, come back here, come back here. <laughs> Just going to take the top one for you and let's see what we have. So, if you are dealing with an Aries, you guys could be having major problems at the moment, but this could actually be a reset that's taking place. You know, like a tower moment where things are very, very rough, but you're actually getting to a space where things are actually working out. So you're sort of getting rid of... Um, you know when you sometimes iron something and you have to be very vigorous about it? I hate ironing, by the way. Um, this is one of those things that need to be steeped a bit, but the end result is beautiful. Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus here, and maybe they're making a suggestion or coming in as a possibility, and you're saying, mm, I don't think so. You may want to consider that. Gemini. Could work. Could actually really, really work. Um... It might be difficult for you all to, to acclimatize to each other's ways, but it could work. Cancer card it could definitely work, but there's some work that needs to be done. This is definitely, you all need to have that conversation. You all need to have that conversation. Leo, very good match. Virgo, no. Libra, definitely. Scorpio, hmm, good work. Sagittarius, lovely stuff, lovely, lovely stuff. Capricorn, Aquarius, oh god no. <laughs> uh, and Pisces, could also work, could be a bit mellow and boring for you, but could also definitely work. Okay, thanks, see you next time, bye.